Studying for the SAT is pretty tough. And when it comes to preparation, rather than going with the first thought, the first plan that comes in your head, you want to approach the exam strategically. That's why in today's video, I'm going to share with you the exact strategy that I have personally used for my SAT preparation. And it's the exact same process that my private tutoring students have used to successfully and quickly raise their SAT score without too much stress. And by the end of this video, if it all makes sense and you see the advantages of it, then you should probably use it too. So if you're ready to study for the SAT the most efficient way possible, then smash the like button and let's get started with today's video. So when it comes to the SAT, there's this thing called super scoring. And how it works is instead of picking the highest score from all the exams that you have taken, what it's going to do is it's going to pick the highest section score from all the exams that you have taken and create a new high super score from it. What I mean by that is here is a quick example. Let's say you took the SAT twice. Let's say on the first try, you got a high score on the reading and writing section, but on the math section, you didn't do so well. So you end up with a 1350. But on the second exam, you really studied hard for the math section, so you did well in the math section, but reading section, not too well. And the final score, again, is 1350. So on the surface, your highest SAT score is going to be 1350. But what 99.9% .9 of the colleges do is they use what's known as super scoring. So your highest SAT score is going to be 1350, but what the colleges are gonna do is they're gonna take the highest score from each of the sections and combine them and create what's known as a super score. So 750 from reading and 750 from math, you now have a 1500 and that is the score that the universities look at instead of your 1350. So long story short, as long as you can score high on either of these sections, it really doesn't matter whether it comes from the same exam or not. Because not only is it very time consuming to study both sections at the same time, but it's even more exhausting to do well on both of these sections in a single seating. Like literally when you're done with the reading and writing section and you're trying to like squeeze in that last energy for the math section, it's just not gonna work, your brain is too tired. And when I didn't know this back in high school, I tried to study for both of the sections at the same time. And when I realized this back in high school, I thought to myself, hmm, I don't have to raise both scores at the same time. I can just focus on one, get it out of the way, and then focus on the other one and get it out of the way. And because math section was my strong suit, I just focused on the math section, boom, got a perfect score, got it out of the way, and then focus on the reading and writing section. It was so much easier and so much quicker because I only had to focus on one topic at a time. There's literally no benefit to raising both sections at the same time, other than the fact that your brain is going to be stressed out and just burnt out. So the big idea is to focus on one at a time, but what is the step-by-step -step process? Here's what you should do. You wanna start off with the topic that you're actually good at. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna first take a diagnostic exam. And if you scored higher on the math section or you're just a math person, then focus on the math section first and get it as high as possible. Preferably 700 plus, but whatever your target is, set your target score. And how long it takes to raise your score is really dependent upon the student. But honestly, a couple of months, it should be more than enough. So once you prepare for the section, take the exam and max out that section score, then you move on to the other section and you repeat the same process. And if you're one of those students that are either equally good or bad at both of these sections, then I highly recommend you just start with the math section. Because for the math section, you only have to focus on one topic, but for the reading and writing section, you technically have to focus on two topics, reading comprehension for the reading section and the grammar rules for the writing section. And when it comes to the math section, it clearly lays out exactly what you need to study. You only need to memorize and understand these 25 different concepts. For, but for the reading section, how are you supposed to get better at reading? Like there's nothing you can study to get better at reading. So there's not really a set specific things that you can do to raise your reading section score other than just keep on doing exams after exams after exam. And lastly, there is just one exception to this preparation strategy. And that is the University of California system does not allow super scoring. They're not going to pick out the highest section score from all of your exams. They are going to look at the scores on an exam to exam basis. Well, that used to be the case, but California got into some legal trouble and all of their public universities are now test blind, meaning they don't take SAT scores into consideration when it comes to college admissions. So long story short, there is no exception to this preparation strategy and you can use it no matter who you are and no matter where you're applying. So if you've been preparing both sections for a while now, then you should consider this strategy. And if you haven't started yet or you're about to get started, then use this strategy to your advantage. So that's going to be it. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you on the next video.